Yep. The day that David Bowie came into the studio, he looked incredible, wearing glamorous clothes and perfectly applied makeup. And I thought he'd arrived already to sing, but just before he was due to go on, he disappeared to change and re-emerge, looking even more glamorous. David Bowie. Let me put my arms around your head. Gee, it's hot. Let's go to bed. Don't forget to turn on the light Don't laugh, babe, it'll be all right Pour me out another phone I'll ring and see if your friends are home Perhaps the strange ones in the dome Can lend us a book we can read up alone And try to get it on like once before when Jack us scared in people's eyes and scored Like the video films we saw This name was always funny And she struck an ass to stay And she sigh like twinkle one First, it's hard enough to keep formation with this fallout saturation. Cursing at the astronaut that stands in steel by his cabinet. He's crashing out with Sylvia and the Bureau Supply for aging men. With snorting head, he gazes to the shore. Once it raised a raging sea, but no more Like a video film, see it saw His name was always funny And he struck an ass in his name And she sighed like twig the one again Crash course for the ravers It's a time in Saturday Yes, his name was always funny And he'd shrug an ass to stay And she'd sigh like twig the wonder kid And he'd turn her face away She's uncertain if she likes him But she It's a drive-in Saturday. Well, as I said before, David was looking very glamorous. I'm sure you noticed just the one earring that he was wearing. And that startled quite a lot of people who watched the programme, and a number of people wrote in to comment about it. I asked him on the show, what did David Bowie think about David Bowie? Um, well, all right. I find that I'm a, a person who um, can... Um, 
take on the guises of, of different people that I meet, I can switch accents in, in seconds of meeting somebody and I can adopt their accent. I've always found that I collect. I'm a collector. Um, and I've always just seemed to collect personalities, um, ideas. I have a hodgepodge philosophy which really is very minimal. Um, very Do you little believe in God, for instance? What? Do you believe in God? Um, I believe in an energy form, but I'm not, I, wouldn't, uh, put a, I wouldn't like to put a name to it. Do you indulge in any form of worship? Um, uh, life. I love life very much indeed. Yeah. You split people down the middle, don't you, a lot? I, that is to say that people are, are hostile to you or they're, indi or they're totally indifferent. Oh, absolutely. To know yeah. That. Um, yeah. What, kind of, what kind of reaction do you get from the people who are, are violently in favour of you? I mean, do you get fan mail? Yes, a lot. What, um, is it scabrous or dangerous <laughs> or interesting or exciting? It's very sexy. <laughs> <laughs> in what way? Um, well, uh, I seem to draw a lot of fantasies out of people, and a lot of the fan mail I get. A lot of it is awfully nice. I mean, they, they say, um, how's your baby, and how's your wife, and what's your mum's name, and things like that. And a lot, but some of them are worth framing. Can you tell us about one or two of the framed ones? No, I couldn't really. No, they really are quite heavy. <laughs> <laughs> heavy duty letters, they are. Heavy duty. Heavy duty. Uh, du sorry, duty. Sorry, I drop me tea problem. sometimes. <laughs> the thoughts of Chairman Bowie. Of that 
door. There is 